And right when Polnareff comes back, he has to die. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I, I should have known. Judge your Yay. So continuing from where we left off in the last episode, I kind of figured that Diablo was not going to just off Bruno right there. He hears Bruno saying, I have to get going, and he realizes, oh, well, he's meeting up with some other guy. I should figure out what that's all about. So kind of what I predicted back there. However, as far as Bruno recognizing Doppio, that's a whole other story. So he, he does like kind of mention it in the last episode while, you know, the episode was ending, but Bruno mentions this, oh, my, my vision is blurring. And I didn't really think of anything of it at the time. Bruno actually can't really see anymore. And his eardrums have already been busted from when he popped the tire back in the fight with Seko. So he can't hear anymore. So how he's actually picking up on things is by seeing and hearing people's souls. So he's picking up on life energy, but he now can't actually see objects. So, you know, he drops his shoe, but he can't really find his shoe. And then when Dopio picks it up, oh, he sees Dopio and he knows that he's holding the shoe. That's very interesting. And of course he's picking up on soul energy, so he's not really able to recognize Dopio, even though he's, he's physically seen a carving of his face, but he's seeing his energy, which is just that of a young man and not necessarily someone that he's ever met before or would recognize. And Diablo picks up on this, so he's able to kind of use the energy of his soul to make himself appear like Trish. And the reason for this is because Trish's soul and his soul kind of have the same scent. And I guess that has to do with because they're related, I guess. So what ends up happening is Bruno is tricked into thinking that Dopio is actually Trish. And you know, Dopio is kind of trying to play the part and he's helping Bruno over to the Colosseum where they're going to meet up with Polnareff. It's kind of funny, like, the, the whole time he's kind of on the phone talking to Diablo, and of course, I, I guess the reason why Bruno can't hear him is because he's not picking up on physical hearing. Bruno is only picking up on the, the, the sound of your soul, so I guess they're able to keep some things secret from him, when they're actually speaking to each other, so he can't actually hear it. You know, we kind of had a funny scene. Polnareff's smart, so he sees a guy carrying around Bruno, and he thinks that's a little bit suspicious, especially when Bruno is introducing this guy as Trish, and he says, you know, oh, that sounds like a girl's name, isn't it? Uh, I do like, like the scene, I'm not sure if the intention was to make it comedic, but I laughed anyway. So Diablo has Dopio say back, is there a problem with me being a girl? Polnareff's reaction is like, no, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, I, think I, I think I said something I shouldn't have. Like the classic, I, I didn't mean to offend you, but kind of look like a dude. But despite that, Polnareff is still smart, so he's like, I want to see her stand. I want to get a look-see at who I'm dealing with here. And of course, he can't do that without giving himself away. So he kind of catches in the glimpse of his eye the arrow that Polnareff is holding, and he recognizes it, and that's when we go into flashback sequence to kind of see the background behind Diablo and how he knows Polnareff. So the very basic story is that he's actually the one who <laughs> dug up the uh, arrow parts and he kept one of them for himself, sold the rest of them. Um, the, the girl with the right hands are the one is the one who taught him how to use the arrows. I think her name was Aniba. I don't. It's been a while since <laughs> Stardust Crusaders. Something like Aniba. And so he started using the arrows. Polnareff was tracking him down, and he soon came to realize this, which developed into a fight between them which Diablo very clearly won, but he did not realize that Polnareff would live through that attack, because, you know, he kind of, kind of lost a lot of limbs, there's blood everywhere, he's probably dead. 
but no! And then we go back into real time now, and Diablo, here he comes. We have this really nice scene, I thought, where we have the effect of Dopio going behind the pillar and like Diablo coming out the other side of the pillar. I thought that was really cool. But now we have actually a visual of Diablo and what he looks like. We actually have like a picture in our head when we think of Diablo so we don't mistake him for Dopio because they are, in a sense, two different souls, two different people within that one body. But Diablo in particular, it looks like he has some makeup on, he has his hair laid down, and he takes off his sweater. It looks like he's wearing some kind of mesh half shirt, <laughs> something like that. He's got tattoos running down his arms. It also looks like he has like spots in his hair. I'm not really sure what, what that's supposed to be. But yeah, he comes out and he's basically like, Hey, Polnareff, I, I made a mistake. I didn't kill you last time, so I'm gonna do that now. But Polnareff is smart, so he bites one of his fingers and he starts dripping blood on his white bandages below him and he pays attention to the dripping so he can see when the time skips. And then as the t when he notices that the time has skipped, he gets Silver Chariot to make an all-around attack around him. And Silver Chariot is very fast. So Diablo actually gets hit. And he even mentions, hey, if I had been any closer, that would have been a fatal wound. So good effort. But of course, Diablo is not the type of person to give you a second chance. And Polnareff is somewhat focused on protecting the arrow because the arrow is this big secret of how they're going to defeat Diablo. So he kind of throws himself up, and as he's coming down, Diablo's getting ready to strike him, and he notices that the arrow seems to be, like, being absorbed by Silver Chariot. And then Silver Chariot kind of starts to, like, wiggle away <laughs> as Diablo takes the final strike and takes Polnareff. My boy. But when he finishes Polnareff off, you know, the, the stand fizzes away and he does have the arrow in his hand. So it seems like all is lost. But then you kind of notice someone else is there. There's some other footsteps. And I'm thinking, about, who is this? So now I'm kind of thinking that it's a new stand. And I'm assuming that they would have picked up on another person being in the Colosseum if they were in fact in the Colosseum. So it's some kind of life energy, some kind of stand, and they also have the arrow kind of wrapped around their neck. So strange. I'm assuming that it has something to do with Silver Chariot kind of absorbing the arrow that one time. Now maybe it's evolved into this new stand after death? Maybe, because stands after Stands after death are a thing, you know? I'm super curious about that, but I don't really know what's going on. Diablo doesn't know what's going on. Nobody knows what the, what's going on. <laughs> we don't know what the arrow can, what second thing the arrow can do. Or well, you know if you've read the manga. Don't you dare spoil for me. But now down below we have Trish, uh, Mista, and Giorno catching up with Bruno who is on the ground, essentially dying again. I don't know how much of Bruno we're gonna have. I mean, he can't really do much. And if there is a fight that happens upstairs with this new stand and Diablo, down below I'm assuming they're gonna be hearing what's going on and they were gonna go upstairs anyway. So are we gonna have like a big group fight? I mean, I'm all for group fights. <laughs> Everyone just circles Diablo and just starts beating him up in the center. There is still part of me that's kind of hoping in the end he'll be redeemed just so that we get more <laughs> Dopio Diablo shenanigans. But I know he's gonna get his ass handed to him <laughs> by the end of the series. Trish is eventually going to come face to face with him and she has a stand now so she can actually fight back. But hey, we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, be sure to like the video and leave a comment down below. Also, tell me what you think about the episode and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Program restart.